conference. Now, let me um, jump into my topic before we pass it on to Greg and Don. I'm going to quickly cover the new 1099 miscellaneous forms in QuickBooks Online. First of all, let me say, in my opinion, one of the best things I've seen Intuit uh, do for the QuickBooks Online product in a very, very long time. It is absolutely amazing. I, I'm, 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 I'm I'm, uh, I'm super happy about how simple and easy it is to use. So let's jump to that. Let me go into Google Chrome. I think you should be able to see my browser um, now. And I have a QuickBooks Online account open. And one of the things that is noticeable is they added a new tab called Workers. If I click on the new tab called, called Workers, you're going to get a basically looks like a new screen that splits employees and contractors as two different subtabs. A contractor in QuickBooks is basically a vendor that has been marked as a 1099 contractor. Let me explain what that means. So if I go into the expenses tab and go to the vendor tab, which is a traditional place where we create our vendors, and I create a, a new vendor from this screen. So let me click on new vendor, and I'm gonna create here Carlos, Garcia, there's a little checkbox here that says track 1099 payments. So if we are dealing with a, a, a contractor that we want to issue a 1099 at the end of the year, we have to hit that checkbox. Whenever we hit that checkbox, QuickBooks will copy that vendor information over to that workers contractors section, which is then where you're going to be able to manage all the 1099 information. Now, in order to do a 1099, you need to have a tax ID. You need to have uh, the address. I mean, these are fundamental pieces of the 1099 process. So we're going to go ahead and click on save. And uh, did I miss a number here? You click on save. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That should cover it. I have to, you have to use that dash in there. I didn't realize that was a requirement. So we'll click on save. So there's my Carlos Garcia uh, contractor. So when I click on workers and then click on contractors, um, I'm now going to see them in the list of contractors. Now, once you generate uh, checks and bills for those vendors, you are then going to be able to prepare a 1099 at the end of the year. Now, this is drop dead simple to use. Once you done your regular checks and bills, you click on the prepare 1099 uh, bu uh, button on the top. Uh, on the pricing, you actually have to pay an extra fee, I believe is, where is it? It is $15 that, that includes three forms. And then each additional form is $399 and beyond 20 forms are free. Now, this is the first year that they do this pricing. Let me zoom in a little bit. So for what I understand is you're going to pay 15 bucks for three 1099s, then $4 a form, and then for the 21st contractor and on, you don't pay any extra. So that is absolutely amazing. I got some clients that have a lot, a lot of contractors, and this is going to be an extremely low price for them, relatively speaking, with what they paid in the past. So we're going to click on prepare 1099 and then click on continue to your 1099s. The first box is going to make sure that you have full information about each contractor. If you click on any of these contractors and they're missing uh, information, you're then going to be able to enter name, last name, address, social security number, all that information in there. QuickBooks even included a new feature when, when you create the worker at the beginning, it will ask you if you want to email the worker a, a link so they can enter their own W9 information. So let me show you what that looks like when the when the subcontractor gets an email, they get an email like this that says, hey, this, comp this company is asking you to enter 1099 details. You click on add your details now, and it basically sets them up with a free, which is amazing, free QuickBooks self-employed account. So they have to create a QuickBooks self-employed account, and then once they enter all the information there, the name, the address, the tax ID, or social security number, whatever it might be, uh, QuickBooks automatically updates that on the QuickBooks online side. That way you don't have to uh, type all that information by hand. However, you can just click on it and enter it by hand if you already happen to have that information. So you don't necessarily have to have the contractor enter the W9 info, but you can do it on your own. Uh, then we click on finish preparing 1099s, and that's it. It takes you to the payment screen. You click on go to e-file service, 
process it and it takes literally minutes. I mean, I was afraid of doing a demo on this because I, I was thinking, oh, this was going to take a long time. I won't be able to do this in five minutes. I literally did it in five minutes. So I'm actually really, really impressed by that. It's the first time I've seen uh, Intuit create something so simple, especially for non-accountants. I mean, for accountants, we, we can figure things out. But for end users, um, you know, it, this is super simple, easy to 